agreement did the four of you come into? We agree to walk individuals in their homes. What does that mean? Uh, to instead of to walk them into their house. For what purpose? To uh, take items from. To rob them? Yes, sir. And whose idea was it to do these walk-ins? Kevin Smith. And how was it you got the idea to do, how was it he got the idea, if you know, to do walk-ins? He came up with the idea because he felt that it was more safer to catch the individuals outside their home and walk them in instead of breaking into them, not knowing if they in there or not. Not knowing what. Not Excuse me, his voice is just dropping at the end. Uh -oh. Mr. Williams, you, you kind of drop off whenever you finish a sentence. Yes, sir. Um, so it's just important to keep your voice up loud like mine. You said that the idea was to do the walk-ins because why? Because, beca because it was safer to... It was safer to... Uh, Go ahead. It was safer to walk them in instead of breaking into their house, not knowing if they was in there. Safer for who? Me, Kevin Smith, Don Diego Adams, and Timothy Russell. Do, do I understand your testimony that it was the idea was to walk them into the homes instead of just breaking into houses that you got you guys might get hurt? Yes, sir. Okay, and that's a plan that Kevin came up with. Yes, sir. So in essence, you did you four agree to commit robberies of people in their homes? Yes, sir. Now, as the, did the plan evolve into robbing other people outside their homes? Yes, sir. Tell me about that. Uh, we were uh, catch individuals sitting in their cars in front of their house. They were, that's it, sir. Okay, all right. Uh, did you ever rob any businesses as part of that plan? Yes, sir. Okay. What type of businesses did you rob as part of that plan as well? A jewelry store, uh, family dollars. So if I understand what you're telling me, the idea was to commit robberies, is that right? Yes, sir. Of people in their homes? Yes, sir. Sometimes in their cars? Yes, sir. And sometimes, <clears throat> sometimes businesses, right? Yes, sir. And that's the pl is that the plan that you, the defendant, Mr. Smith, Mr. Adams, and Mr. Russell came up with? Yes, sir. Now part of that plan, part of this agreement to do this robberies, what were you going to do with some of the items that you stole from the people in their homes? Uh, the jury, we will pie. The credit cards, we will uh, go to the ATM machines at the gas stations or whatever. And, um, like, we will ask for guns and cash. We will keep you the guns. ask for what? Ca money and guns. We will keep the guns. So when, when you rob someone, you ask for money, cash? Yeah, yes, sir. Okay. Uh, you would ask for guns? Yes, sir. You keep the guns if you got right? Yes, sir. You said the jewelry. What would you do with the jewelry? We will pawn it. How, how do you find jewelry? We will go take it to Eight Mile and Greenfield. Where, where was it, you guys? Where were you guys when you came up with this idea to do the walk-in robberies? Can you repeat the question? Where were you when you decided to do this walk-in robberies? Uh, at my mama house in the kitchen. What, your mom, what, what street did your mom live on back in January of 2015? Um, out of drive. Is that in the city of Detroit? Yes, sir. Okay. So pawn the jewelry, keep the cash, keep the uh, the guns. You said something about credit cards. What about them? We were uh, we were asked the victims for credit cards, and we will uh, get their pin number, and uh, we will go hurry up and go to like a gas station to uh, take cash off their cards and stuff. And did you ever participate in any of those? Did you ever participate in those planned robberies yourself? Yes, sir. But how many robberies in total did you say that the, this, the, this agreement you guys had, how many did you do in total? Do you know? Exactly. Like 16, sir. 16? 16. 16. Armed robberies? Yes, sir. And did you participate in all of them? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Your Honor, at this time, I would um, ask the court to provide copies of People's Exhibit 520, which is the uh, Stipulation as to the locations and dates of the robberies. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, um, we're going to pass out uh, what has been received into evidence as uh, People's Exhibit Number 520. And it's been referred to uh, by Mr. Moran as a stipulation.
a stipulation is an agreement between the parties regarding certain facts and the stipulation eliminates the necessity of calling in a witness or witnesses to testify about a particular fact because both sides are in agreement as to what the facts are. As jurors, you may accept these stipulated facts as being true, but as the deciders of the facts, you decide what weight to give it. All right? So right now we're going to pass out for you. And you may want to mark on it. I'll wait till you all get it, and then I'll uh, give you the number just so that you'll be able to uh, keep a record. Yes, ma'am. Everybody has one now? And just in, in case uh, you're, you're keeping track for your uh, benefit, <coughs> this stipulation that has been passed out to you is People's Exhibit Number 520. Okay? With that, Mr. Moran, whenever you're ready. Thank you. Could I ask that uh, we bring out People's Exhibit 520, page 2? Can we zoom in on the address of LaSalle? Mr. Uh, Williams, can you see that photograph? Yes, sir. Okay. And um, we've identified that as February 11th, uh, 2015, uh, a crime at 16885 LaSalle Street in the city of Detroit. Yes. Um, did you go to that location with someone to commit a crime? Yes, sir. And with whom did you go? Don Diego Adams and Kevin Smith. Okay. And did you and someone else go inside that house? Yes, sir. Who went inside the house? Me and Kevin Smith. And when you went inside that house on the South Street in the city of Detroit, was that part of this plan to do these walk-in home robberies? Yes, sir. And was someone present at that house on the South? Yes, sir. Who was present? An uh, old lady, sir. Okay. It, an older lady was at that house? Yes, sir. What did you do with the old lady inside that house? We married her uh, sit on the bed, sir. When you say we, who are you talking about? Kevin Smith and I. Did Don Diego Adams go in the house? No, sir. Okay. Did, was he outside? Yes, sir. Was he driving that day? Yes, sir. So you, only you and the defendant, Mr. Smith, go inside the house? Yes, sir. And what do you do when you get inside the house? We round checked it. You did what? We, me and Kevin round checked it. Okay. Looking for jury, anything that was valuable. You said there was an older woman. Can you describe her? Do you remember? I can't remember, sir. What'd you make her do? You said something about it then. We made her sit on the bed, sir. Okay. Who, who talked to the, the victim in that house, the older woman? Kevin Smith. Okay. And what did Kevin Smith say to her? Do you recall? No, sir. But in any event, during the course of you and the defendant going in that house, you committed an armed robbery of that woman in that house, right? Yes, sir. Did you take anything from her? Not that I can remember, sir. Okay. All right. Uh, after you robbed her, did you and Kevin Smith leave the house? Yes, sir. Did you go with Don Diego, uh, get in this car and drive away? Yes, sir. Can you bring up the page, uh, the next page to the bottom? Yes, sir. You see that house, sir? Yes, sir. The address says, February, the address is 14364 Mansfield Street in the city of Detroit. Um, on February 21st of 2015, did you go to that house on Mansfield Street? Yes, sir. And who'd you go there with? Timothy Russell. Anybody else? Uh, Kevin Smith. And what'd you do once you got in that location? We robbed an old lady. Now, this is the second house in a row that an old lady, as you say, an older woman, was inside that house. Is that right? Yes, sir. Was part of this plan that you came up with to rob older people? Sick, can you repeat? Was part of the plan that you and Kevin and Adams and, and Russell came up with, was that to rob older people? Yes, sir. What? Why? Because they was more vulnerable and 
we assume that them the people that got the money, sir. So they were easy targets? Yes, sir. And they probably have money or cash? Yes, sir. And so part of the plan was to rob the older people because of those reasons, yes? Yes, sir. So you get to Mansfield on February 21st, 2015. Do you go inside the house? Yes, sir. There's an older woman inside the house? Yes, sir. Anybody else do you call inside the house? No, sir. What happens when you get inside? We, me, Kevin, and Timothy Russell, Ramshack the house looking for gold or guns or cash. And when you went into the house to rob that house on Mansfield, did you have any weapons? Yes, sir. What'd you have? A forty five, sir, and um as I can remember. You had a handgun? Yes, sir. Did Mr. Smith have a handgun? Yes, sir. What kind of, do you know what kind of gun he had back on February 21st? 45, as I can recall. You had a 45 too? Yes, sir. Okay. Did um, Timothy Russell have a handgun? No, sir. Just the two of you had guns? Yes, sir. Did you use those guns in the course of the robbery of that older woman in the house? Yes, sir. Did you use that gun to force her to give her property to you? Yes, sir. And did you take anything from her on Mansfield? A TV and a, a credit card, I believe. Now, why did you take a credit card? So we could get some money. So I'm going to hand you what's been marked as People's Exhibit, Close Exhibit 212. Showing you people's proposed exhibit 212. That's a photograph, isn't it? Yes, sir. It appears to be the photograph of the inside of some type of party store or gas station. Is that correct? Yes, sir. And do you see a person in that photograph? Yes, sir. And do you, even though you can't see the face of that person, do you recognize that person? Yes, sir. Who is it? Timothy Russell. How do you know? How in the world do you know it's Timothy Russell? Because of the jacket, sir. Because of his clothing? Yes, sir. Move to admit people's proposed 212, Your Honor. Any objection? Are you going to put it up on the screen? Yeah, any objection? No. Will be received. <coughs> Mr. Williams, is this the photograph of, of the individual you identified as uh, uh, Timothy Russell? Yes, sir. And the, the date at the bottom is February 21st, 2015, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> Same date that the house on Mansfield, you and he and Mr. Smith robbed that old lady, as you say, of a credit card, right? Hey, yes, sir. Handing you people's proposed exhibit number 579. 519? 519. Is that a photograph? Yes, sir. And who's in that photograph? Timothy Russell. Same clothes as wearing that, that that day? Yes, sir. Move to admit 519, Your Honor. Any you objections? <laughs> this is the same photograph you identified? Yes, sir. Is that Mr. Russell at an ATM? Yes, sir. And um, is that the same day on Mansfield when he's trying to withdraw money from the victim's credit card that he took off, off Mansfield? Yes, sir, I believe. Was that part of the plan when you and Kevin Smith and Adams and Russell agreed to do these walk-in robberies to take the credit cards and go to ATM machines? Yes, sir. Is that something you did more than one occasion? Yes, sir. Okay. Page three of People's 20, 520. Go to the bottom. Right. So I'm going to show you page three of People's Exhibit 520, the bottom photograph. It's an address of 235 Bricksdale Street in the city of Detroit. The date of the crime is March 19, 2015. Um, do you recall going to location there, committing an armed robbery? Yes, sir. And 
Who did you go there with? Timothy Russell, Don Diego Adams, and Kevin Smith. Was anyone armed when you went to that location? Yes, sir. And did you rob someone at that location? Yes, sir. What type of individual did you rob at that location? An older man, sir. An older man? Yes, sir. And was that a situation when you walked him into the house? Yes, sir. Uh, was he outside? Yes, sir. And then you walked him inside? Yes, sir. And do you recall what you took from the individual on Griggsdale Street? Yes, sir. What did you take? Uh, jewelry uh, and a gun, sir. Did you use your firearm to, to take property from him, your handgun? Yes, sir. Did Mr. Smith use his firearm to take property from him? Yes, sir. Was the owner, homeowner of that house threatened in any way? Yes. What was he, how was he threatened? By forcing, we forced him to tell him, me tell him what we want him to do. Did, did you use your guns to force him? Yes, sir. Did you use your guns to tell him to do something? Yes, sir. To, to give him your property? Yes, sir. And you did that? Yes, sir. The defendant did that, too, at on Griggsdale. Yes, sir. Let's go to the next page on 520. Top. No, next page. Next page. Next page on People's Exhibit 520 is a house situated at 129 Hilldell Street in the city of Detroit. Do you recognize that house, sir? Yes, sir. And uh, according to stipulation, a crime was committed there on April 15th of 2015. Um, is that house on Hillsdale a place that you and others went to commit an armed robbery? Yes, sir. And who went with you to that armed robbery? Kevin Smith and Timothy Russell. Is this house close to someone else's house that you know? Yes, sir. Who, who's other house? Kevin Smith house, sir. Does, at that time, did he live on Hilldell Street? Yes, sir. Down the street from the Saturdays, correct? Yes, sir. Whose idea was it, if you know, to rob that house on Hilldell? Kevin Smith. Tell me about that. Um, that was a house he had been watching. How do you know that? Because they told me about it, sir. Okay. I mean, did he tell you that that's the house he's been watching, the defendant? Yes, sir. Okay. And why was he watching that house in particular, the defendant? Because of the uh, vehicle, sir. And what kind of vehicle was that? I believe it would be a Cadillac, sir. In this photograph, do you see this SUV parked on the side of the house on Hilldale Street, 129? Yes, sir. Is that the Cadillac you're describing? Yes, sir. So. Is it your testimony that the defendant targeted this house because the owners had a nice car? Yes, sir. Did the defendant tell you that he'd been watching that house for some time? Yes, sir. Did he tell you that he was planning to rob that house by watching it? Yes, sir. Tell me what happened on that day when you decided to rob the house on April 15th. Um, earlier that day, I was... I was with my girlfriend, uh, we had been bowling, and um, later on that day I got home, I received a call, I can't remember if it was from Timothy Russell or Kevin Smith, but I received a call from one of them, and they told me uh, the, the people down the street, one of them had um, they gone, left the house, and uh, we we watching it, so come over man if you trying to. You put the deal with your girlfriend, and yes. bowling, you said. Yes? Yes, sir. You get a call from either the defendant or Timothy Russell, right? Yes, sir. And in that conversation you had, one of the two of them said, the house we were watching on Hilldale. Yes, sir. Someone just left the house, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so that, was that an indication that the plan to rob that house was on that day? Yes, sir. Okay, so what did you do in response to that phone call? Um, I called a cab and I went over there, sir. You went over to who, where? Kevin Smith house. And that's on Hilldale, right around the street, down the street from this house? Yes, sir. Who was there when you got to Kevin Smith's house on April 15th? Timothy Russell, and Kevin Smith, and some other individuals. And some other what? Individuals, I can't remember. Did you remember Timothy Russell, Kevin Smith, and yourself? Yes, sir. Okay. Did you, at that time, about what time was it in the day when you got to this house? Do you recall? No, I cannot. Was it still light out or dark out? It was getting dark, sir. Okay. 
Did you discuss the robbery on Hilldale Street? Yes, sir. What did you, what'd you talk about? Um, about how we was going to rob them. That's it, sir. What the plan was? Yes, sir. What was the plan? To catch the individual outside their house and, and rob, walk them in. Is that why it's important that they saw someone leaving the house? Yes, sir. Was the house being watched to see when that guy comes back? Yes, sir. Okay. So the plan was to catch him as he's coming back and walk him in this house? Yes, sir. Okay. What about a ride? Did you have, did you have to arrange a transportation for that robbery? Yes, sir. Tell me about that. Um, as we were sitting, waiting in, in the car in front of Kevin House, um, it was discussed about how we was going to need a ride after the fact once we robbed the people. And, um, so I took it upon myself to call Timothy Russell's sister, Nicia Russell, to um, to come. I actually did she want to make $20, but not knowing, not telling her what was about to take place. So, so you called Nicia Russell? Yes, sir. Now, had you known to do Nicia Russell before that day? Yes, sir. And you said she's Timothy Russell's sister? Yes, sir. And you asked her on the phone if she wants to make 20 bucks. Yes, sir. And what did she say? Uh, yep. Okay. Does she come over? Yes, sir. Does she have a car? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What kind of car was it? Uh, I don't know the name of the car, sir, but I could give you, I could describe it for you. I think I have a photograph of it. Yes, sir. Okay. Whose car is that? DCA Russell. Miss Russell will come over, offer her twenty dollars. Does she come over? Yes, sir. What do you tell her? What's going to happen? Never told her anything. She never knew what was going on at the time. Did you use her for other armed robberies as well? Yes, sir. As a as a ride? Yes, sir. Did you pay her for those transportation? Yes, sir. Did you also use her to go to pawn shops? That's what. Yes, sir. And would you pay her for that as well? Yes, sir. You said you never told her what was going on. At that. Um, at that armed robbery, no, I never t told her what was about to take place. Sir. What did you ask her to do for you that night? I just asked her, did she want to make $20 to, uh, I believe, to take me home? I can't even remember, sir. Okay. But so it was more than that, though, more than just taking her home, was it? Yes, sir. You wanted her to help you rob that house on Hilton, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Did, and did she, did she help you do that? She just got, she was just like a getaway. She didn't okay. really. All right, that's fine. But she did help you do that, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Who else did she help do the robbery on Hilda? Um, Kevin Smith. Anybody else? And Timothy Russ. The three of you go with the Nisa to the robbery? So, say, repeat that? The three of you were involved in that robbery with the Nisa uh, uh, Russ, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So what happens? You, you, you get the call, you come over to Kevin Smith's house, you talk about the robbery, you call Denise Russell to come over, she comes over, what happens next? Um, about 10 minutes later, uh, that's when someone arrived at the house that we robbed, and um, that's when me, Kevin, and Tim got out the car, we timed everything, and um, me and Kevin was the first two that approached the victim. Where was the victim um, on Hill that was in the first? He was uh, getting. He was in in the backyard, in his driveway, getting out, and uh, Kevin uh, ran up on him. Forgot, he was the one that was up on him. And, um, held the gun to him. I can't remember what 
Did, did Kevin Smith have a gun on that day, April 15th, on Hillsborough Street? Yes, sir. When he approached that person in the driveway, did he use that gun on that person in the driveway? Yes, sir. Was that a man or a woman in the driveway? A man, sir. Okay. Where were you when Kevin Smith approached that man in the driveway? And um, right, like on the other side of the car, watching the house, making sure no one see what was going on. So, where was Denise? At? She was in front of the house, or front of, I can't remember. So, okay. she's in her car. Yes, sir. How about Timothy Russell? Where was he at? He came seconds later after we got the victim to co after we got the victim to corroborate. So you you. Mr. Smith meets him in the driveway, pulls a gun on him. Right? Yes, sir. And what did you force the victim to do? Uh, give uh, give us his keys, sir. Okay, did you do that? Yes, sir. Then what happened? Uh, then me and Tim went and unlocked the front door, sir. And you and Timothy Russell unlocked his front door on Hilldale. Yes, sir. Using his keys. Yes, sir. What happened next? Uh, I shot upstairs. Me and Tim. Wait a minute. You shot your gun? No, I shot. I mean, I ran up the stairs. You went upstairs? Yes, sir. Did someone go with you? Yes, sir. Who went with you? Timothy Russ. Okay. What happened next? And then it was a older woman that was in there. I approached her. And where, where was the older woman inside the house? She was in a bedroom, sir. What was she doing in the bedroom? Sitting on the bed. By herself? Yes, sir. So you walk into her, this woman's bedroom and she's sitting on her own bed? Yes, sir. You got a gun with you? Yes, sir. Does Mr. Russell have a gun with you? He didn't have a gun, sir. Are you wearing a mask or anything at that time? Yes, sir. Describe the mask you're wearing. Uh, it was a, a piece of sleeve that was cut off a shirt, sir. Uh, you cut a piece of sleeve off a shirt? Yes, sir. Did you put it part of your face? Yes, sir. Was part of your face obscured from the, the woman who's on her back? When you say obscured, can you... She couldn't see part of your face? Yes, sir. Covered up? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, so you... Wear a partial mask. You have a gun. Mr. Russell has a gun. She's in her bedroom. Do you go into the bedroom? Yes, sir. What do you do when you get into the bedroom? I pointed my gun at her, sir. Okay. Then what? Um, I can't remember what I asked her for because it's been over a year, sir. So I can't. Remember. Did you ask her for some property? Yes, sir. Okay. Did you tell her she's being robbed? Yes, sir. And did she give you some property? Yes, sir. Uh, what kinds of things did you ask for? Do you remember? I can't remember, sir. But you remember her giving you stuff? Yes. Okay. Was Kevin Smith upstairs with you at that time? No, sir. What happens after this woman in her bedroom gives you her property at gunpoint? Um, at that time, uh, Kevin Smith was bringing her husband upstairs. Tim was Rex. Tim, Timothy Russell was ramshacking the house. I walked her after she gave me her item, the property that she um uh I walked her into the other bedroom where her husband were and uh and I set set both of them right well, they was both right there and I held them at gunpoint. So at some point the defendant, Mr. Smith, brings the husband upstairs. Yes, sir. Does he bring him to the bedroom where you're in? No, sir. Where does he take him? He took him into another bedroom, sir. On the upper on the second floor? Yes, sir. What does he do with them in there? He sent him to a set him in a room. Okay. Was he on the on the bed, on the floor, in a chair? On the floor. Does it make him lie down on the floor? Yes, sir. Okay. Then at some point you bring the wife, the missus, into the same bedroom. Yes, sir. What do you do once you bring the wife into the bedroom? I have both of them at gunpoint. What about the defendant? Where, did, where was he? He went downstairs somewhere. Okay. So he's off the second floor. Yeah. You hold them both at gunpoint. What do you say to them when you hold them at gunpoint? I can't remember, sir. Okay. But you held him in that other bedroom um, at gunpoint while Kevin Smith went downstairs. Yes, sir. They said Mr. Russell is downstairs ransacking the house. Yes, sir. No, that. What's that? that? No, no, no. What, what was he doing? Tell, tell him that he was ransacking the house. Okay. Yeah. I don't want to put words in your mouth unless you tell me what you remember. So Mr. Russell's downstairs, you're still upstairs, right? Kevin Smith was down. Smith. Kevin Smith is downstairs. Yes, sir. You're upstairs. Yes, sir. Me and Timothy Russell was upstairs. Sir. Now, now Russell, the Graham second house is upstairs. Yes, he never went downstairs. Sir. Okay, I misunderstood. Okay, so you and Russell are upstairs in the second floor. Yes, sir. Kevin Smith is downstairs. Yes, sir. You're holding the victims in their bedroom. Yes, sir. How long did you hold them for? Do you recall? No, sir. At some point, you decide to leave the house. Yes, sir. Okay, and you take the property that you took from the victims with you. Yes, sir. Do you remember what that was? Credit card and 
a few dollars, sir. I can't remember how much money it was. Um, did you get any guns at that, at that house? No, sir. Okay. Credit cards, money, any jewelry? Uh, jewelry. Do you remember any electronics? No, sir. Um, when you get downstairs, is Kevin still there? No, sir. Where is he, do you know? No, sir. Not you, at that. You get downstairs and, and he's gone? Yes, sir. Uh, does Timothy Russell come down with you? Yes, sir. So the two of you are downstairs. The defendant's gone. Yes, sir. What do you do? We, uh, we took off. We're right. outside? Yes, sir. When you go outside, is Denise Russell's car still there? No, sir. So the defendant's gone, Denise has gone? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, what do you and Russell do? We ran between some houses and um, we called him, called Kevin Smith, asked him where he was, and that's when he told us. What did he tell you? He was at the ATM machine. Oh. Um, did he tell you where he was at the ATM machine? Which ATM machine? Yes. Which one? On Woodward. It's, it's Seven Mile, I believe. Can I the again? Yes. Um, what did you do? I'm going to hand you photographs, the photos exhibits 135 and 136. Thank you. Do you have a list of what's your table? Both photographs? First of all, are those, are those photographs, sir? Yes, sir. And do you recognize the individual in the list of photographs? Yes, sir. And who is the individual in the list of photographs? Kevin Smith. We'll show him that 135 and 136 room. Any objection? None. You received. This is one of the photographs. Do you see that? Um, yes, sir. And is this Kevin Smith here? Yes, sir. In that in that photograph, um, taken on April fifteenth at twenty three forty. What is that? Just before midnight, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, at a surveillance at a PNC at eight mile limit, correct? Yes, sir. Now, do you recognize this, this coat that he's wearing? Yes, sir. Have you ever seen him wear that coat before? Yes, sir. So Kevin Smith tells you he's at a bank on Woodward. Yes, sir. Withdrawing money from the ATM, right? Yes, sir. Did you make plans with him to meet up sometime later? Uh, yes, sir. How'd that, how'd that work out? Uh, we told him because they need to, him and NCA needed to come back to pick us up. And did they do that? Yes, sir. Okay. Did, they, and did Nisia drive her car back around and pick up you and Mr. Russell? Yes, sir. You get in the car with Nisia? Yes, sir. Where do you go? We go to Timothy Russell's house. Okay. What do you discuss at Timothy Russell's house that night, April 15th? As we uh, <coughs> we was uh, approaching, the, uh, I mean, going up into the house, uh, I I said uh, we got another uh, credit card and stuff like that. And, um, we need to uh, hurry up and try to go get some money off of it before they cut the card, disactivate the card. So, so you told them that you got, hey, I got another credit card. We got to get this while they're getting good because they're gonna shut off the card, right? Yes, sir. Did you make plans with other people to do that that night? Yes, sir. What'd you do? Um, we go to. Uh, say we. Who are you talking about? Nisia Russell. And who else? That's it. You went to Nisia Russell. Yep. Yes. Yes. Do you go somewhere? Yes, sir. Where do you go? To a gas station. Okay. And where is that gas station located? On Finkel. Sir. Um, how many gas stations did you go to that night? I believe about two or three, sir. And do you go inside the gas stations? Yes, sir.
Mr. Williams, take a look at those, if you would, please. First of all, those are all photographs, aren't they? Yes, sir. Look at them each individually, if you would, please.
continue if you need a few more minutes, we can do that. No, I'm okay now. I just, I need a discussion on our own thing. I just had this. Oh. Couldn't pay attention to what was going on. Sure. Okay. All right. Let us know if you're not feeling you know, okay. Thank you. All right. Mr. Moran, go ahead. Thank you. I'm also going to hand you Mr. Williams. People proposed 428. 428 is a map. Do you recognize that map? Yes, sir. Okay. And um, just as a point of reference, if this is if this is St. Mary's, this is Hildell, and this is the three addresses on Fink. Look familiar? Yes, sir. Okay. That'll be four twenty-eight. Told us, sir, that after the robbery on Hilldale Street, which is approximately here. Yes. Uh, yes. You met back up at um, whose house were you again? Can you repeat the question? You, you, you did the robbery on Hilldale, right? Yes, sir. Mr. Uh, Smith went to the ATM on Woodward with Denise, right? Yes, sir. And they picked you up in her car. Where did you go? We uh, went to Timothy Russell House. Yeah, what is, what, where was he living at that time? On St. Mary, sir. Okay. Uh, is, could it be 12713 St. Mary Street in the city of Detroit? I don't know his address. Okay. Well, it's, it's near the expressway, isn't it? Yes, sir. Okay. And from there, it was decided that you and Denise were going to go and use that credit card that you got from Hildell quickly before it's cut off, right? Yes, sir. Does anyone else go with you and Denise, or do you go by yourself? Just me and her, sir. And how are you dressed when you leave the house on St. Mary Street? I, uh, I had a t-shirt on, but I asked Kevin to use his sweater, so once I do go inside the gas station and use the credit card. I Why did you want to use his sweater? So my face won't be seen on the camera. And did the defendant give you the sweater that he was wearing? Yes, sir. Did you put it on? Yes, sir. And did you use it to cover your head when you went into those uh, gas stations? Yes, sir. And that was to hide your head? Yes, sir. Now the photographs I showed you Specifically, people as proposed at 147, 149, 150, 151, 152, 412, and 413. All, all photographs that were taken that night with you and Denise in them. Is that correct? <coughs> yes, sir. And are they fair and accurate? Did they depict what you looked like that day? Yes, sir. Who took those numbers? Let's take a look at the time. 413, you'll show them, please. Yes, thank you. 413 and 412. Go ahead. 147. 149. 150. 151. And 152. They'll all be received. Okay, Let's start with. 149. Do you recognize the person in Exhibit 149, sir? Yes, sir. This person here walking in the uh, gas station? Yes, sir. Who is that? That's me, sir. And is this the sweater that you're talking about you borrowed from the defendant? Yes, sir. And can you see the, the label here? Is that a Nike label? Yes, sir. Now, when you walk in the store, your hood's up. Is that right? Yes, sir. Why is your hood up? So the camera won't catch on my face, sir. Let's bring up 150. Do you recognize the person in Exhibit 150? Yes, sir. Who is that? Denise A. Russell. Is this an individual that drove you to this, this gas station? Yes, sir. And this is a photograph of her entering the store, right? Yes, sir. Let's bring up 157. 151. Is this Denise? Yes, sir. This is a different gas station, is that right? Yes, sir. Uh, who's this in the photograph? That's me, sir. And this is Pete for the record, Exhibit 412. Again, are you wearing the defendant's hoodie that day? 
Yes, sir. You call it a sweat, right? Yes, sir. Hoods up, right? Yes, sir. Okay. 413. Who's this person in People's Exhibit 413? That's me, sir. And that's the day of April 15th when you're trying to use those credit cards you got from the Hilldale Robin, right? Yes, sir. Were you able to get any money for your call? Yes, sir. Okay. And this is you here, right? Yes, sir. Again, I'm wearing the hood, correct? Yes, sir. Now, after the Hilldale robbery, did you and the defendant and um, Timothy Russell split up the proceeds? Yes, sir. Uh, incidentally, are, are you related to any of the people that were part of this group? It's not related? Yeah. Yes, sir. Who related to you? I'm related to Don Diego Adams. Don, how are you related to Don Diego Adams? I can't explain, sir. It's okay. just Grew up in, would it be fair to say you grew up being cousins? Yes, sir. Okay. And so that's how you knew him growing up? Yes, sir. Okay. Were you related to anyone else in that group? No, sir. <coughs> Let's go to the next exhibit. <coughs> April 25th. I want to refer you back to People's Exhibit 520. <coughs> I'm going to direct your attention, sir, to April 25th, 10 days after the last robbery at Hilldale, um, to an address 14181 Eileen Street in the city of Detroit. Do you, do you recognize the uh, home that's located at that address on that photograph? I recognize it, sir, yes. And did you go there with the purpose of committing a robbery at that address with some other people? Yes, sir. Who did you go to Eileen address with? Uh, Kevin Smith, me, and my cousin. Cousin Don Diego Adams? Not Don Diego Adams. Who was the cousin you went to with this one? Uh, Harry, sir. I'm sorry? Harry. Harry. Okay. Um, cousin Harry, the defendant, and you go to Eileen Street, right? Yes, sir. And did you have a weapon with you? Yes, sir. Did the defendant have a weapon with you? Yes, sir. And did Her Cousin Harry have a weapon? No, sir. And did you go to this address on Eileen to rob someone? Yes, sir. Now, when you do these robberies, do you, do you, plan, you told us on Hilldale that they were planned out ahead of time. You watch the house, you try to pick someone, is that right? Not all of them. Not all of them was planned, sir. Were yeah. some of them planned? Yes, sir. Some of them were not planned? Yes, sir. Some, some were crimes of opportunity? Yes, sir. You saw a victim and you decided to leave? Would it be fair to say that sometimes you'd see someone and just take advantage of them? Yes, sir. Okay. Sometimes they're planned. Yep. Yes, sir. When you plan the robberies, would you plan on wearing things to disguise yourself? Yes, sir. Like you told us about the shirt you used to cover your face, right? Yes, sir. What about gloves? Would you use gloves sometimes? Yes, sir. Why did you use gloves? So we won't leave no prints behind, sir. I want to go back to Eileen. You, the defendant, and your cousin Harry go to this address on Eileen. You told she had a weapon. Did you have masks or gloves that day? Yes. Uh, okay. And what happened when you got there? Uh, me and Kevin approached the victim uh, outside, standing in the trunk of his uh, car. What'd you do? Uh, Kevin held him at gunpoint. I ran into the house, sir. And you got in the house. Where'd you go? Upstairs, sir. And did you encounter someone upstairs? Yes, sir. Where was the person you encountered upstairs? Uh, a lady, sir. And, and where was the lady? In the bathroom. And did you go in the bathroom and confront her? Yes, sir. Did you have a weapon? Yes, sir. What did you have? A nine, sir. What does that mean, a nine? A nine, a nine millimeter, sir. A handgun? Yes, sir. It was a nine millimeter caliber handgun? Yes, sir. And you go in the bathroom and you confront the lady. What did you do with the gun to the lady in the bathroom? I uh, held it to her and uh, told her to give me the, her necklace and ring, sir. And did she do that? Yes, sir. What about the ring? Did you have trouble with the ring? Yes, sir. Tell me about that. She had to uh, use water to try to get the ring off, sir. So you had to physically force the ring off her finger at gunpoint? Yes, sir. Using water? 
to lubricate her finger to get the ring off. Yes, sir. Was there anybody else inside that house besides the woman in the bathroom? Yes, sir. Who else was there? Her son, I believe, sir. Did you think it was her son? Yes, sir. Can you describe that person for me? Sure, kind of a little heavy set, and he kind of seemed to off. I, I don't know. Did he seem to you to be a special needs child? Yes, sir. What did you do to that child? Uh, held the gun up to him. Don't remember what I said to him. And that's all I can remember. The guy outside that was at his car that you confronted outside, was he brought into the house? Yes, sir. What, what was done with him inside the house? He was brought upstairs and laid on the floor, sir. Was he robbed as well? Yes, sir. Do you recall what you got off of him? No, sir. Okay. Well, so you robbed the lady in the bathroom? Yes, upstairs, sir. Upstairs? And the man was robbed and brought into the house and then put in the bedroom, correct? Yes, sir. Go to the next page. Oh, let me back up. Did you take any firearms out of the house on Island Street? Some rifles. Okay. And is that something you would ask the homeowners for if they have weapons or not? Yes, sir. Okay. And in this case, on Eileen, did they tell you that weapon? Uh, yes, sir. Did you take those? Yes, sir. Let's go to the next page. the bottom. Sir, I'm, I'm showing you on the monitor the next page of our People's Exhibit 520, the stipulation, and it's May 11, 2015, at 14600 Faust Street in the city of Detroit. Um, do you recognize that location and that date, sir? Yes, sir. And did you go to that location with some other individuals to rob the homeowner of that house? Yes, sir. Who went with you on this robbery, sir? Uh, Timothy Russell and Don Diego. What about the defendant? Was he with you on May 11th? No, sir. You, Timothy Russell, and Don Diego at? Yes, sir. Um, the person you confronted, was that a man or a woman? An older man, sir. Was he white or black? White, sir. What did you confront? In, in, the, in the, in front of his door, like inside of, like just getting inside his door, sir. Was he coming home? Yes, sir. And you said the front of his door, the front door of his house? Yes, sir. As he was coming home? Yes, sir. He was like, I can't explain. Go ahead. Was, was he coming in the house? Yes, sir. He was. And yeah. Did you use your weapon to force your way in? Yes, sir. What kind of gun did you have that night? Uh, a 40 caliber and um, a 9, sir. Who's 40 caliber was it? Kevin Smith. Can you describe that 40 caliber for me? It's black with a laser sight on it. Laser, you said? Laser, yes. What does that mean, laser? Uh, laser sight, I can't... A laser sight? Yeah, sir. So you, it has a laser on it that you can use to sight? Yeah. Okay, what I might call a pointer. Okay. Or you call it a sight? Yes, sir. But that 40 caliber handgun that you had, was it yours? No, sir. It was the defendant's? Yes, sir. And it had a laser on it? Yeah. Okay. That's a yes? Yes, sir. Okay. Is that the gun you used to get entrance in that house when you robbed that white older man? Yes, sir. And was he older? Yes, sir. Now, describe the inside the condition of that house. It was cluttered, sir. Cluttered. Once you got that guy in the house, what did you and Mr. Adams or Mr. Russell do? Mm -hmm. Made him lay down on the floor, sir. What else? Uh, uh, Ram checked the house and t tied him up. Tied him up? Yes, sir. What did you use to tie him up? The, the uh, a cord, sir. Where did you get the cord? From off a lamp, sir. You cut a cord lamp? Yes, sir. Tied up the homeowner, the victim? Yes, sir. Laid him on the floor? Yes, sir. Did you take anything from him? Yes, sir. What did you take? A TV and a credit card. Anything else? No, sir. Mr. Brad, this might be a good time to take a 10 minute break. Yes, sir. All right. Yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll take ten minutes. All right. <coughs> Shit. Mm -hmm. Why?
Come here, sit Yeah. 